This is about a 7 years old Toshiba laptop. With a broken display, broken case and with the low specs. And in this condition basically it's useless. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're going to make a few changes, some upgrades and we're going to make this laptop fully functional again. So let's start it. How I said before, this is about a 7 years old Toshiba laptop, in a very bad condition and with pretty low specs. This laptop have a 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM. The CPU is AMD E1 running at 1.4 GHz and the GPU is AMD Radeon 7310. Also this laptop is coming without hard disk and the battery is not working. But this is not a major issue. On this laptop the display is broken and useless. The laptop case is broken from the both sides. So if I try to open the laptop a little bit faster then there is a big chance to break the laptop on a half. The other issues are. The keyboard is curved but still working. The charger is repaired previously but however I've checked the voltages and all is fine. And this laptop is full of dust. Ok, let's start. And first I will start with disassembling. Because there is a lot of damages and because I'm going to make some mod, I will disassemble the entire laptop. Ok? Now first I'm gonna start from the bottom side. And first I'm gonna remove the battery, because of security reasons. And then I will remove the small plastic cover. Under the plastic cover is the hard disk holder and the RAM. So now I will remove the boat. Now I will remove all screws from the bottom side. These models are simple to open because all screws are from the bottom side. I mean there's no some hidden screws under the case or under the keyboard. When I removed the bottom case, I saw that this laptop is repaired previously, but nothing serious. The charging connector is changed and basically that's all. However, the connector is working well, but before I back in the laptop, I will make a new isolation for any case. Now I will turn the laptop from the other side. Very careful to not break it and I will remove the keyboard. The keyboard actually is connected to the motherboard and simply I cannot remove the motherboard with connected keyboard. Ok, now I will turn the laptop from the back side again and I will continue with removing all other components. After all is removed from the upper case, I mean all what can be removed, very careful I will separate the display from the case. Ok, now I will disassemble the entire upper case and I will remove the broken display.
Now, before I continue with some other modifications, first I will pack all screws in a small plastic bags, to not lose it. If you're going to make something like this for the first time, then you can do the same. Just you can pack the screws while disassembling, so you won't lose anything. And this is what we have now. Basically, just a bunch of junk. Well, before I continue with anything other, first, using a self brush and 96% alcohol, I cleaned the laptop's case, the motherboard, the keyboard, and all other components from a dust and dirt. Actually, I really like when something is looking good, so basically, all I made to look like in a new condition. Now, let's do some repairs. The laptop's upper case is damaged, mostly in the upper part, around and under the display holders. The bottom case has some damages, but nothing very serious, except the screw mounts in the upper part, which are very important. So, first let's start with the upper case. To fix the upper case, I will use super glue gel. The super glue gel is drying slowly, but is stronger. It's more flexible, which is very important, and it won't damage the plastics. Basically, you can use quality super glue to stick some plastics or case, like this one. But never ever use any kind of super glue or some other glue on electronics. Because the glue, especially the super glue, may instantly kill the motherboard or any other electronics. Now, to make the laptop case stronger, on the places where it's broken, I will stick small and thin but very hard metal parts. These metal parts will make the case stronger and chance for breaking again on the same place is barely minimum. After the upper case is done, let's move on the bottom case. On the bottom case, the major issue are the upper screws holders. Without these holders, the upper case and the display won't be very stable. Actually, without these screws, the laptop case will easier to break again. So, the only way to fix this holder is to take some other plastic holders from some other laptop. Using a Dremel tool, carefully I cut the small plastics from the other case that I have for a parts. Now again, using a super glue gel, I stick it on the bottom case. Basically for now all is done with these small repairs. Now let's make some mod. Personally, I really like when the stuff is looking different and I've decided to make some modification. At first, I want to stick some vinyl over the case to cover the scratches and all. But I've changed my mind because I already have done this. And I've decided to spray paint the case, but to make something that I never done before. So, after some time of planning, I've decided to make the case with some abstract space painting. But believe it or not, I have no experience with this. So first, I start to watch some videos and read some guides about how to correctly mix some sprays to get some wished color shades, how to make objects and other things. And then I start to practice. After a few unsuccessful attempts, finally draw something that looks like space and planet. So now, basically I'm ready to go. But first, before I start with spray paint, using a tape, I protect the trackpad and the case under the keyboard. Actually, on this laptop, I'm going to paint the back display's case and the upper part where the keyboard is placed. Because I want to make this mod looks better, except using a few normal and quality sprays, I will use fluorescent sprays. These fluorescent sprays will give a different taste on this painting. But also, the spray painting will have a small glowing effect in a dark.
And this is how the laptop case is looking after painting. Now let's move on the final steps before I fully assemble this laptop. First, I'm going to change the thermal paste on the CPU. Before, when I done the basic tests, the laptop was pretty hot. And probably the thermal paste is never changed before. Now let's move on the display. Because this is an old laptop and I really don't want to spend a lot on repairs, instead buying a new display, I buy a used display. And this used display cost me something less than 20 US dollars. The display is cheaper because it's used and old, is not in a very good condition, it's very dirty and there is a rust on the bezels, but it's fully functional. So first, before I mount the display, I will going to clean it. To clean the display, I will use very soft cleaning cloths, 96% alcohol and soft brushes. Actually, one of these brushes is a makeup brush. The makeup brushes are great for cleaning some sensitive touch, because they won't cause any damage. Also, if you're going to clean some display, no matter, laptop's display, desktop or any other display, you need to be very careful. Especially be very careful with the display electronics. And never put any kind of liquid over the edges. Because the edges are very sensitive and if the liquid goes there, then you may damage the entire display. Well, the display looks good now. It's not perfect, but it's better than before. Now it's time to assemble the laptop.
So this is it. The laptop basically is assembled and now let's make some upgrades. This laptop before has only 2 gigs of RAM. But with 2 gigs all is going to be a very slow. So now I will upgrade to 8 gigs of RAM. The 8 gigs of RAM also is maximum that this laptop model supports. The next upgrade is the disk. Instead using a hard disk, I mean as primary disk, I will going to use a 240 gigs SSD. In this case, the SSD will make the laptop boot faster and running faster. And the last upgrade is another disk. Instead CD-ROM, I will install another disk. Using a disk caddy, I will install an additional 1TB hard disk. So with this, the laptop will have a two disks inside. The SSD will be the primary disk and the other 1TB disk will be the data disk. Also, this upgrade can be done on almost any laptop, Windows-based laptop or even Macbook. Actually with this, you can very easily expand your laptop storage. Now, after all is finished, let's move on Windows. Because I want to do some performance tests on this laptop, I tried the Windows 10 and the Windows 7. The Windows 10 on this laptop is working pretty good. But compared with the Windows 7, the Windows 10 is much slower. So I've decided to stay with Windows 7. The Windows 7 is working pretty fast and pretty good. The boot time with Windows 7 is about 7 to 9 seconds, which is pretty good. With Windows 10, the boot time is about 15 to 18 seconds. But also, in Windows 10, the softwares, the web browsing and all other is a little bit slower. But basically this laptop is good for all daily tasks. Like working with documents, listening music is great for web browsing, using social media, watching movies and other videos and all other basics. Now let's move on some games. The gaming performance are pretty low. I cannot expect a lot because of the low specs. I mean this laptop has a slow CPU and GPU. But the older games are running pretty fine, with very stable frame rate and using full screen resolution. I tested a few games and one of them is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The game is running pretty well. And honestly, I didn't expect this. So basically this laptop is good for older games. Like older Call of Duty series, older Battlefield series, the older versions of CS, Half-Life and some other older but great games. However, on a low specs machine simply cannot skip some of my favorite arcade games, like Cadillac and Dinosaurus and Metal Slug series. Actually, for these arcade games, this laptop is perfect. Well, this is all about this laptop. It's a low specs laptop and basically still good for almost all basics. It's good for data, web browsing, watching movies, music and low specs and older games. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I hope this video will give some idea and inspiration to make something better than this. 
Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.